17 hours later, two pots, and we've done our shopping for this month. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're like me, you're concerned about these grocery prices. Every single time I go to do some grocery shopping, I can't believe the bill. And I can't believe how many items I'm getting for all the money that I'm spending. So what I've decided to do is visit a number of stores in Dubai that is considered budget friendly and shop for the month. Then I'll compare prices among the different stores to see which store is better. Where do I get more savings from? Or do I have to shop from different stores for different items? But we're gonna do all of this together because the methods that I'll use here can be applied anywhere. All we're trying to do is reduce this spending because this inflation is crazy and it's just gonna get worse. So there's a lot of factors contributing to these high prices in the grocery stores. You have inflation, cargo ships unable to get to their destinations, there's um, a shortage of workers. But one thing we do know, it's ridiculously expensive at the grocery stores. And especially if you have a large family, these prices you cannot maintain. I'm here shopping and while shopping I am comparing prices. And this is something that you definitely have to do so often in the supermarket, especially if you want to save money. Because I'm just comparing some Kellogg, Kellogg cornflakes, <clears throat> some Kellogg cornflakes that is 750 grams. At this store, the sale price, it's on sale guys, is $24.25. When I checked online at a different store, it's $18.20. So this is definitely not a saving. So comparing prices and having an idea of what an, the cost of a product is is so important because then you won't be fooled by these kind of fake promotions. One of the tips for saving on your grocery shopping is definitely shop on promotion. Check for all the promotional sales and you go to that section. So right now I'm in the promotional section. Try to take advantage of all the bargains, but be aware, as I said previously, not all the bargains that advertise is actually a bargain so you have to do some cross checking before you even purchase the item these are great for conflicts instead of using sugar i usually add some of these granola to my conflicts and also my overnight oats so we have that okay so i have some macaroni elbow pasta on my list this is 1050 and you're getting four so i'll grab some of these this is great for macaroni and cheese and also macaroni pie so i'll get two packs of tuna fish jalen loves his tuna fish so i'll grab some of that so this is on sale for 20 durham so I'll go ahead and get some napkin because i have some napkin on the list Get some napkin. So I need some cleaning supplies as well. I'm gonna get this. And also I'm going to pick this up. I need some sponges. Guys, tell me what you use to clean your dishes. Do you use sponges or the cloths? For some reason, I feel the cloths are better because you can always wash them, but my husband thinks the sponges are better. So what do you use? Do you use the sponge or do you use the dish cloths? Where are them? The dish cloths. Let us know in the comments. It's very hot now in Dubai and it seems like the heat is just bringing out the ants. The ants are looking for some mere cool to go so we have a lot of ants at the villa right now so i'm gonna get that hopefully hopefully this gets rid of the ants if you guys are in dubai and you know something better that i can use to get rid of the ants please let me know in the comments this is a complete haul grocery cleaning every single thing i need some wood polisher but instead of going for the pledge 
which is like 13 11 plus we're gonna go over here for mr generic and save some money get some aluminum foil 750 so we're looking at some storage bags this here is 16 by 8 and it's 16 durums we go over here for the none well the generic are the brand that is not as popular this one here is um se 17 by 7 and this one here is 850 is it right is it 850 i think it's 850 so of course we're gonna get this one and we're gonna get the snack bags in this brand as well it's 975 so we'll go with this brand we're saving money here, guys. We're saving money. Okay, I'm going to get some juice um, for the boys. Okay, I'm going to be honest here. Looking at these prices, I can already tell that these prices are more than what I normally get these juices for. So I am like... I really don't want to pick up any I might just pick up just for the sake of the video and for comparing the prices but I know off the bat that these are not a deal these are not good prices at all at all these are usually less than this so I know for a fact this store is not the place that I'll be getting these juices from but for the sake of the video I'll just go ahead and collect one I'll go with the orange which is $9.90 so one of the things that I've been doing lately is trying to eat more healthy. So I'm going to get some quinoa for some recipes that we'll be having soon. Even though I have some quinoa at home, but I'm restocking. So we have some, we have the black quinoa, 1995, white quinoa, that's also 1995, and these are all organic and 350 grams. So one of the tips for saving money while grocery shopping is always buy the store brand. If a store brand is available, most likely it will be cheaper and you will save some dollars there. So always get the store brand. This one here is $18.50, is it? $18.50 for 300 grams. Another item that I need to get, it's some Quaker Oats. We have this 1 kg for $13.75. And we have the Quaker Oats Old Fashioned, which this one here is for $27.50. And this is 1.19 kg. So guys, you would think, okay, you want to get this one because this is more. But actually, it's more cost effective to get this pack because this is 1 kg. And if you purchase two of these, you'll get 2 kg for $27.50, which is the same price as this. And you're just getting 1.1 nine kg see so it makes more sense to get two of these versus one of that because you're going to get more and you're spending the same amount of money i'm telling you if you stick with me once we finish this series we all will be boss grocery shoppers saving as much money as possible in this store i'm going to share with all the tips and tricks and i know you guys will share tips and tricks with me in the comments that everyone can benefit from this journey that we're going on together another item on my list is nutella i'm going to get the large one the boys love these with their sandwiches on pancakes crackers very good next we'll go with some cereal cornflakes keep it simple these here we add the granolas too which will make it a bit more exciting and i don't add sugar in our cereal so we can get some cornflakes okay so now we're gonna get some chickpeas some white chickpeas i i just noticed some black chickpeas i've never seen these before have you guys used black chickpeas before I've never seen black chickpeas. Okay, so we're gonna get some kidney beans, some lentils, a two types of beans, some lentils. 
I just noticed something interesting. These green beans, these lentils are packed here in the UAE. And for 400 grams, it's 740 versus these lentils, I'm sure, which is imported 400 grams and they're 540. So, because I would think that because it's packed here, it would be cheaper, but it's not. Interesting. And we'll also get some black eye keys. The hubby loves these. Last beans, we got to get some white beans. And these white beans are very good with a curry, with the chickpeas, white beans, and some potato. One of the ways to reduce your grocery bill is substituting meat protein for like beans and legumes. It definitely will save some money and it's healthier for you as well. I love having chickpea curry, stew lentils. So good, hearty, and will save you a lot of money. So we're going to get some coconut milk. And this is very good. And your rice and peas, rice and beans. I'm gonna get some turmeric powder. In you go. Let me just give you a snapshot of my cart. I try to keep it organized to maximize as much space because I'm by myself and I cannot pull two trolleys. So I try to cram everything in every nook and cranny to save some space. And we haven't even gotten to the produce section as yet. So I was walking through the store and I saw a sale on the green lentils, 10 dirhams for a larger pack so i'm returning these and capitalizing on that sale so we have these lentils for 10 dirhams so i'm going to get this instead of the ones that i had take the offer i need ketchup i'll take the hind We need some barbecue sauce and I'm gonna go with the American Garden barbecue sauce honey. This is 990 for 510 grams. And over here you have the craft. This is 496 grams and that is 1525. So because it's craft, you're paying for the name, the extra flavoring, yeah, but you're paying for the name and the marketing textures that makes you believe that the craft is better but we know that's not true so we're going with the american garden and we're going to save some money we won't be fooled by their marketing tactics to convince us that this brand is better than another generic brand one way to save money is to stick with the generic sometimes the taste might vary so you would have to taste purchase various ones to see what is best for you but because it's craft or one of those popular brands that doesn't mean it's always better we're just conditioned to think that way because of marketing but we're breaking that chain today so i was quick to take this ketchup because heinz it's a familiar brand it's a popular brand and it's saying 10 durham so i was quick to take that up but I just caught myself because I came back looking through the ketchup and I realized that there is a store brand ketchup, which is 10 dirhams, the same price as a Heinz, but you're getting much more. This is 1.07 kg. So this is the better bargain. You see, I hear telling you about marketing. They almost had me. They almost caught me just now, but they didn't so it's okay through this process you will make some blunders but that's okay once you catch them and you correct them you move forward so now i'm going with my lulu's ketchup and i'm going to save some money because i have more for the same price hopefully it tastes good i've never had it before so hopefully it tastes good and we will continue shopping with that brand yeah so when you're shopping, you always start off with the store brand. The store brand is usually cheaper. So you start off with the store brand and then you compare other brands from there. So we are, what we want now is some sunflower oil. 
So we're gonna see how much the store brand costs and then we will see if that is the better deal. Let's go. So we have the store brand sunflower oil, 1.5 liters and that is for $21.50. But there is a promotion happening with this brand, 1.5 liters and this is 20. So in this case, this will be the better deal. I'll have to search to see if there's anything else in terms of if it's purchasing a larger quantity might be a better deal as well. You have these here, which is 47 to five. When you count, when you calculate it like per liter, it might actually be cheaper to get the larger amount. And oil, it doesn't go bad. So if you find oil on a sale, you just purchase it. Because I don't use a lot of oil, I'll just go ahead with this one, which is 20 dirhams, because I don't use a lot of oil. I have an air fryer and most anything that I fry, I pretty much put it in the air fryer, which is healthier. So I'll take that oil and we will continue our shopping. Maggie cubes, I'll go with the vegetable. We have beef and you have chicken. I usually take the vegetable and this is a must for your kitchen, your food, your rices. It tastes so good. Instead of buying your chicken stock, you add some of these cubes to your water and you have vegetable stock, chicken stock, beef stock, whatever stock you want. In the UAE, it's I hardly find parboiled rice like the Uncle Ben rice. I hardly find that in the stores here. It's usually this matter rice. But this is one place that you would find parboiled rice so you would have american rice which is parboiled rice it has it in the larger packets and it's cheaper than the uncle ben's so if you're looking for parboiled rice you can't find the uncle ben this is a great substitute and it's also cheaper gonna get some olive oil i don't think this is the best bargain here but i'm not seeing anything else so we'll just go with that. So we need some brown and white sugar. Let's see, this is one kg, 1180. And of course, store brand is cheaper, 490 for one kg. We'll get two of these. We get two of these. This one here is two kgs, which is 10. And this one here is 2 kgs, which is 6.5. So this is the store brand. Looking at them, my mind is telling me, go and get the whiter one. This looks whiter. <laughs> Maybe it's just the perception that to me, this one here looks better. I don't know. But seeing that we are trying this whole budget friendly saving on groceries, we're gonna go with the store brand and I'll let you know if it was better because I have I have this at home so I'll let you know if this is better so we'll just take this we're going against the grain we're changing our processes we're not uh, we're not shopping based on perception marketing tactics we're just going with the dollar value and we'll see if that is the better way to shop I tried to use oat almond or soy milk I really don't I try to avoid animal products as much as possible. So I'm going to get some oat milk, eat with the cereal and also for my overnight oats. I'll get two from in the store because as you can tell, alternative milk is very expensive and that's one that you should buy in bulk. So I'm going to look somewhere else to get it in bulk. But for now, I'll just get two because I don't have any. So when we have to purchase milk, we usually would for cream of wheat my husband thinks the cream of wheat is tastier with milk we would get an, an organic hormone and preservatives free this is a little pricier but it's better for you at least that's what they say i don't know if that's a marketing tactic too <laughs> but we're gonna go with the organic i'll say that this is a hack but i'm sure people have been using this instead of getting a pizza sauce i'm going to get one of these basil and garlic sauce. This can be used for pizza. This can be used for my pasta or lasagna. 
So instead of getting a sauce specifically for pizza, I'll get a sauce like this where I can use it for a lot of different things. I've never noticed Morrison's products in the UAE before, but I'm gonna go with this tomato and mushroom pasta sauce, which is $8.95. This can be used for my lasagna meats as well, or any, I can use it anywhere. So I'll go with this, this is $8.95. And I have the tomato and basil as well. So I'll take two of each. An essential staple in your pantry is some form of flour. For now, I'm using this flour, white flour. I know the almond or one of those flours are better for you. But for right now, we're sticking with old white flour. I'll get two packets of these penne pasta let's get some spaghetti if there's any still brand spaghetti there isn't so let's see oh yeah there is you'll just get two of these I'm going to get some lasagna sheets as well to make lasagna. That's quick, not a quick, but a one pot meal. Put it in the oven, set it and forget it. I'm gonna get some vanilla essence. Oops. Get two of these for pancakes and bacon. I'm going to get some of these noodles. I'll get two. Let me share with you a little story about these ramen noodles. So when I was in college, I probably had too much ramen noodles for my liking because I totally cut them off. Until recently, I started making them again, but these aren't your typical out-of-the-box ramen noodles. These are elevated. So noodles are back on the list again, and the boys enjoy them. Some snacks for the boys. So high. These are 10 dirhams. So I got some apricot, some cashews, and some almonds. These would be some great healthy snacks for us. I'm gonna get some jam for Jonathan. So I'll get some strawberry. Uh, strawberry. I'm gonna get some cheese. So I got some olives some feta cheese. This is so good with salad. A little snack. Got a jello section. I'll get some turkey. Turkey breast. Jonathan doesn't eat turkey really, so I'll just get some for Jalen. For his sandwiches. Have you guys seen a honeycomb before? We won't be having any today. So this store has a bakery, but only for pastries. They don't have, they don't make any bread. So I'm gonna get some of these for the boys. And some of these. So I did find some other wraps. So I will get one of these instead of that other brand. I'll get two of these. So I'm done with the pantry or shelf items. I'm moving on to produce next and I'll end it off with meat. 
I don't know if you guys follow a particular aisle pattern or shopping pattern when you go to the grocery store, but I like to start off with my shelf and pantry items and then I'll go on to the produce. I, I do it that way to avoid like my fruits or vegetables being squashed by the canned items or the shelf items and I ended off with poultry. That way the meat is separated completely from the food. I don't know if that's just me or if it's weird. <laughs> is there a particular way that you guys do your shopping? So we're going to the produce section now. We've got those beautiful colors. We're going to grab some cucumbers. The boys love cucumbers. I love the cucumber salad as well. We're gonna get some carrots, cucumbers for salads and also for juicing. Carrots for a salad and also for juicing. So when you're getting your vegetables, it's always best to get the loose ones versus those that are already pre-packed. Because the loose ones are usually cheaper and the benefit you get to select your item. Lettuce. We're going to get some red onion. We'll get some beets. This is for juicing. Beet and carrot is so good. It's such a good combination. Some potato. We're gonna get some pear. This is good for the boys for snacks. They're small. So this is perfect size for their snack bag. And also I can use some of this for juicing. And for snack, a healthy snack. Hopefully they're sweet. I'll get some kiwi for their snack as well. Just something healthy to snack on. We're gonna get some apples. I'm <laughs> sorry, bananas. This is school snack and also snacks at home. We try to encourage the boys to eat a lot of healthy snacks. Oranges, so this is used for snacks and also for juicing. Lemons, I use this a lot to, to, my, to season my chicken and also to make um, lemon juice. I really don't buy any juice. I prefer to make the juice, whether it's lemonade or some other natural juice for the family so we make a lot of lemonade a lot of iced tea in the caribbean we love our plant and it's so good that we can find it up here want to get some plants in want to get some apples these green apples will be used for juicing and to snack on the red apples snack as well i won't really juice the red apples the green apples is used for my green smoothie so I'm going to collect some of these goodness. Another saving tip, instead of getting your fruits pre-cut, get them as a whole fruit and cut them yourself. You will save money. I'll grab some pizza for the boys. This is the last one, so oh well. So I got the mozzarella cheese. I'll get some mixed vegetables, good for fried rice or even a side dish. My cot is getting so full now. Look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna make some lasagna, so I'm just gonna get some minced beef. We'll get some firm tofu. We'll get two packs of these just for a meat free day. going to get some kingfish one kg of kingfish i have to go to the market but i haven't gotten theirs yet so i'm going to get some chicken wings um i usually will get like chicken breast and whole chicken as well but we're taking a little break from the chicken 17 hours after this is my pot about to go to the check so i'm getting ready to cash out i'm gonna put all my meat on first 
vend the cool products. Look at this. Look at this. How much do you think this is going to cost? Before I tally, pause the video, put in the comment how much you think this is going to cost. $1,257.65. That is the total of the bill today. After what it seems like 15 hours in the store, I'm finally out with two cards. I needed assistance getting my car to the car because it's only me. So I'm finally home. Most of the groceries are unpacked. This has been like the longest time I've ever been in the supermarket. When I entered, it was sunlight. When I left, it was total darkness. I probably spent four, five, six hours in the grocery store, but it was productive because I I took my time, I looked at all the prices, I even did some comparison. So now I'm a better shopper for it. And you will be a better shopper too, because I will, and I did share a lot of tips and tricks on how to save as much money as possible when we're doing grocery shopping. With this inflation, no one got time for not saving. It's all about saving. Remember, if you have any tricks, tips, or anything that will help us all be better shoppers please leave it in the comments if you haven't joined the family as yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss another upload mm -hmm.